Today's topic is emotions. Just saying the word elicits some kind of response. Emotions can be your best friends. Emotion can be your worst enemies. Every game is comprised of hundreds of battles within your mind. You have to be emotionally invested to win those battles. And you really need to know yourself well to be a good player. But you can't know yourself well unless you really understand and know your emotions and know what really makes you tick. Emotionally connected players for me throughout my career are both grateful and desperate. They're grateful for the opportunity, but they're desperate every day to leave their mark on the game. And so the biggest part about dealing with emotions, you need to understand it's okay to fail. It's okay to fail. It's okay to be emotionally invested, work as hard as you possibly can, and still fail at the game of baseball. The key is you have to know why you fail. And it's it's okay to be emotional. That's, that's the part. When you try to deny your emotion, you change yourself as a player. The key is you have to be able to learn to channel your emotions. If you can channel your emotions in the appropriate way, it creates better defined focus. When you create better defined focus, you create better clarity of thought. When you create better clarity of thought, you eliminate all the white noise that's running around in your mind and you can stay in the moment to be able to execute at that particular time to put yourself in the best opportunity to be successful. But with intensity um, becomes a chance to get out of balance. Um, your mind works very, very quickly. When you have an overabundance of intensity involved in your emotion of that particular game, your mind will work 15 times faster than a normal mind. And so let me say that again. When you're out of balance, and when your intensity level has crossed the barrier of what's normal, your mind's gonna race 15 times faster. As you know, to be successful in the game, you have to slow the game down. Mentally, you have to slow the game down, not speed it up. Quick, but wrong. And so it's important that you have intensity, but you channel it a certain way. Another aspect of the emotion that young players in particular need to understand is the butterfly syndrome. Those butterflies that you get in the pit of your stomach, a lot of players think there's something wrong with that, that you're nervous and you shouldn't be nervous, that you're not going to perform well if you're nervous. Stop it right there. Those are great emotions to have. Those are the kind of emotions that tell you I am prepared mentally, physically, fundamentally for the battle that I'm about to face and you want to feel that, that, that butterfly syndrome, that sense of anticipation, that nervous energy that you get before a game, that means you're ready. When you stop having those feelings is when you need to be able to get concerned because you may not be emotionally invested to be able to go out and compete that given day. Emotions are in the player's circle of control. Let me say that again. Emotions are in the player's circle of control. They're not outside your circle of control. So it's incredibly important that you learned to control your emotions. When you control your emotions, that equals greater awareness. When you have greater awareness about what you're about to do on the baseball field, your chances of success exponentially go up so much higher and you have a chance to be a really good player. So get your motions under control. And next week we're gonna talk about something I'm very passionate about, which is your body language.